Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with the Economic Ninja and we have had the pleasure to hang out with Bud Patterson. He came on and did the side hustles. Uh, we're in Vancouver at the VRIC conference, the big investment conference, looking at mining stocks. It's, it's really incredible the people that are here. Yeah. You're actually speaking today. I am. Alongside Robert Kiyosaki. and uh, Like on stage with yeah. Kiyosaki. It's going to be cool. It's going to be exciting. Yeah. So there's some uh, open AI. It's called Chat chat gpt yep and i've messed with it a little bit i've talked about it on the channel just a little bit it's hard for me to talk about it because i hate it <laughs> it's uh really gonna take a lot of jobs and you can it's only limited to the your ability to ask it questions you yeah. can actually talk to this thing i'm gonna let you yeah your critical thinking skills are I, no joke like how well you can use this or not you could ask it anything and it will do literally just about anything. And I'll give an example. You know, I was writing the real estate uh, course. I go, you know what? Let me let it uh, roll out some. I had my curriculum all written out. I said, let's see what this thing can do. And so I'd give it a topic and I would, I would mess around with the topic and it would write out full outlines for me. And then I would use the outlines. And I go, shoot, I know how to use this as an outline to go off and, you know, make a bigger video. And it made my life so much easier. It was incredible. Uh, but the problem is if you don't know how to ask questions or the right wording, it's, it sounds funny. It's like Google. Uh, I see people like Google something and they never get to the same conclusion as I do fast enough because they don't understand search optimization or how less wording is more. It, it opens up a broader search. But what's really scary about it is how many jobs can it take. Uh, well, and also uh, the schools are terrified of this. Oh, yeah. Like you could uh, do a book report on Huckleberry Finn and never crack the book. Yeah. I mean, you could do, you know, any, you could just ask it, Hey, summarize this book in, uh, in 10 easy steps in Spanish, translate it to Spanish. Now, eventually though, it will be as easy as a, uh, a, a teacher being able to go to chat GPP, scan in the actual uh, thing and say, did you write this? And there, there will be that the AI will learn to be able to do all of that. So there, that hasn't been talked about yet, but th this is evolving. Yeah, so but fast. you could it's ask crazy. it, make it to where my teacher can't see it. <laughs> it's that <laughs> incredible. It is nutty <laughs> what, it, what it's capable of. Well, here's the thing. It's scary, right? It's gonna take a lot of jobs. This is what I want you to do. Under start to understand what this is now, start to figure out ways that you can make money from it now. Like this, this isn't a joke. Like every day, I, I did a video on the debt clock the other day and manufacturing jobs since the year tw uh, 2020, or sorry, year 2000, have dropped like 10%. We've lost 10% of our manufacturing jobs in this country since 2000. Mm. And yet the wage increase, the uh, medium wage was like, I wanna say 30,000. It went from 30,000 to 34,000 in that same amount of time. Well, inflation has literally three or four X since the year 2000 on everything from fuel, food, um, rent, housing values. Uh, my point being is this, this is going to rob millions of jobs around our country literally within the next year to two and people need to be ready good news for people that's in the trades it cannot weld it cannot take measurements it cannot uh, there's a lot of reasons to get into a trade i agree there's a lot of reasons to skip college i'm not telling you not to go to college if you're headed that way it was the best option for me and it would have been the best option for almost all of my friends that i went to school with and not only that you know, to get into the trade is one thing and make good money, right? Get right in. You're making clear, close to six figures or above almost right away. But then to understand the importance of taking those skills after the first handful of years that you're working on the job and then translate that into a side business. Because then not only are you more independent, not saying you have to go out on your own all, all at once, but now think about all the tax savings. Like, and people don't get that. There are people that are paying literally between 20% and 50% a year on every dollar they make. And if they would just save it through legal tax write-offs, that is a penny saved, a penny earned, but we're talking about tons of pennies. And I don't wanna, paint it as rosy as we are because having a trade and doing um, it, not having a job that you just show up to and a lot of trades, you can just show up and they'll pay you as a tradesman and you can have a job doing being a millwright or a welder for a company. But if you're doing your own thing, if you have your own LLC, you're going to have to pay for insurance. You're going to have to pay, you know, for uh, everything out of your pocket, your health insurance for your family, everything. So there, there is that to it, but, Keep in mind, you're going to make more money. You you will be the boss of you, and yeah. you'll be able and you'll make more money on the front end. And there, 
these companies aren't laying out honey pots for you, making you promises. Okay, if you work long enough for me, we'll give you a little vacation. If you work a little bit longer, we'll give you a little more vacation. We'll give you a little pay raise next year. So you have, you evade that, make money on the front end, and invest that money in hard tangible assets like real estate and stuff like that. That was my plan from the get go. So I've had over 22 side businesses. I've never lost money ever in my life. Uh, there are a couple that like literally after about six to eight weeks starting them, I go, you know what, this isn't for me. I don't like it or it's not making me enough money. And I would, I would close those down and start something else. I've never lost. But the reason why I've never lost is because like Chris says, I don't want to paint his rosy because he's talking about going straight into a business by yourself. I just explained the number one key. Keep your job. Go work an extra day a week. Go work that sixth day. And then literally take that money. You are getting the benefits of the tax write-offs. You still have the security of your full-time job. You keep doing that. Yeah, you're working six days when your buddies are out working five. But you know what? You're absolutely crushing and you're showing up in your new work truck that you paid for cash. And you had to buy it because you just literally saved 25 or 35% on your taxes. And you got to think about it that way. So that's the number one key. You don't always dive right in. Most people that fail in this life, they fail for two reasons. They didn't think ahead and plan, and they went too big when they they dove in. Going slow, taking small little steps, and then eventually you're like, "Hey, man, I'm crushing it. I can go on on my own." So that's what I wanted to point out with the absolutely. The Google stuff. was started in a garage. Yep. You know, uh, Mr. Bud last night. Uh, you know, I've had him on the channel a couple of times. He brought his nephew, I think. And uh, anyway, uh, he started a side hustle selling Amazon on Amazon. Yeah. That, and, and it's really working out. And he had to take a course to do it. And it was a really, you know, he traded a little money yeah. to, to straighten that learning curve. And, and a lot of people could do that in the comments, go to the description or in the comments, I'll put the link to your side hustles course. Yeah. And I just came up with a new name for Bud's channel, but I can't say it here. So okay. you gotta remind me <laughs> okay. or I'll forget. Well, you can try it. It doesn't matter. If I say it right here, it's gonna, it'll be gone. It'll be done. Oh, it'll okay. be gone. Never mind. We'll have yeah. to watch. I think it's good under wraps. It's, yeah. All right, guys, we're fixing to go to the conference. Thank you yep. so much for being here. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming on, Ninja. Yep. See you guys. Take Later. it easy. Oh, yeah. Have an awesome, awesome day. Awesome, awesome day. <laughs>